Uh, my name is uh, Malik Bendil. I'm uh, 34 years old. I'm from Sweden, and I, I made a film called Searching for Sugar Man. I went to 16 countries in six months in Africa and South America looking for, for stories. And I found like six good stories, and this was by far the best one. I think maybe the, the most important thing when you start on a project it, uh, is that you think it's, uh, it's so fun that you kind of prepare to do it anyway, even if you don't get any money, even if you don't get any support. You just want to do it. If you retell it, and there are a lot of, a lot of and thens, you know, and then something else happened, and then something else happened, and all those and thens are pretty exciting stuff. Then you have a good story. And in this film, there was a lot of and thens. It really happened a lot of, just to retell it, just to, you know, the, the skeleton of the story, like the, the fundamental of the story. There were quite, quite a few steps that you needed to tell to get the whole picture. When you're in a creative process, it, it, you get absorbed. You, you really get absorbed. You don't... I, I spent many, many years on this film, but I, when I'm rem thinking back, I, it doesn't feel like many, many years. I mean, many, many years is a long time. And it, felt, it feels like it was pretty quick, in a way, because you, you really lose sense of time, because it is so much fun and you, you're happy. I, I really think so. You, it's this kind of playful mood. It needs to be playful. As soon as someone tells you to do something, you lose everything. You really do. It, it needs to be a feeling that everything is possible and this is going to, you need to feel this is going to be the best film ever. You, you you need to live in that kind of completely crazy misconception that you're creating something that is really good and then you don't need anyone telling you that this is this is not good and this is, you should change this and you should, only if you ask for it. The way I did was that every week I invited people to my house and I showed it to a new person every week who didn't know anything about the film. When you see the film with someone else, you see the film through their eyes, just by sitting there. So you have this, you start writing down stuff. The true authority on your film is not yourself. Even if you spent a couple of years on your film, your opinion is biased because you've been working so hard. The one who sees the film for the first time, he or she is the true authority. That's the, really thing that, the only thing that really counts is how does this film come, come across the first time you see it. You don't see films, you know, it's not like music where you actually give it maybe another chance. You only see it from once. What you get from that screening is everything you're ever going to get. The reason why I worked so hard on this is that it was the first time I did a film. And I think the first time you do anything, your, your ambition is limitless. You can work for a couple of years if you really like, like it, because you, there's no pressure and it's, it's kind of a beautiful place to be in that kind of first time you're exp exploring something that you don't know and and in a way if you, if, I, if i'm really going to do something exactly the same way I, I, I did it this time it's actually to do that way to do something for the very first time so i, I will have the, the same kind of feeling and there's so much stuff you know you, you could do that you never tried so maybe i should should not do another documentary film i should maybe do something that is as much as uh, i would be a challenge or as much of a, of a discovery or a new, a, a new a new feeling so maybe I don't know if it's going to be a, a narrative film or maybe, a, you know, something completely different. If you do a film that is almost as good as this one, I think it will be a little bit disappointed. I mean, it, it should be, it needs to be more fun and better, and otherwise you'll be just a little bit disappointed. And if you do something for the first time, there is no, nothing to compare with, which is, which makes it more, f I think, the, the work process more full of, of lust and... and and, ha and happiness, <laughs> kind of. Cool. I think that's us. That's it, right. If the human's brain is 99.6% uh, the same as a chimpanzee, then it needs to be 99.99999% exactly the same brain as both Einstein, uh, John F. Kennedy and Adolf Hitler, right? Scary a scary thought. <laughs> and Picasso and uh, you know Shakespeare and uh, James Mason <laughs> and Rodriguez right you were here of your smile your easy laughter of your kiss 
Those moments after I think of you